Norwegian Cruise Line's Pride of America. We are here for a seven night Hawaiian Islands sailing. So if you're interested in that or even more content from Hawaii, we stayed at Alani, the Disney Resort in Oahu. Be sure to check out our full Hawaii playlist. For today's video, I want to take you around and give you a full tour of our accommodations. We have a family inside stateroom for this sailing. So with that said, let's go ahead and get the tour beginning. We'll go ahead and start with our tour of our stateroom here on the Pride of America. All right, on yeah. deck 10, just okay. down the hall from the forward elevators here on the starboard side, we turn and find room 10055. Now, this is just for part of a special decoration package because we're celebrating a birthday, so that normally wouldn't be there. Before we head in, I do want to show this is a really cool feature. You see it says welcome. You can spin it to make up the room or for the do not disturb. It's just a really simple way to do that. I like that feature. All right, let's head in and take a look. And here is our look at the room as we enter. Definitely not a very large room, but it will get the job done. Again, these are just special birthday decorations that we purchased, so those would normally not be there unless you purchased decorations of your own. With that said, let's turn around and start with the entrance to the room. So all of the usual players when we come into the room, our safety information located on the back of the door that explains where your muster station is and how to get there, as well as your peephole and peephole cover. It swings down just like that. You do have the deadbolt on the handle there if you want to lock the door. Right next to that, you'll find the thermostat here. Pretty self-explanatory. Up in red for warmer, down in blue for cooler. And you can also do the quick cool, which will cool down the room very rapidly if it's warm when you arrive. Down below that, you have your main light switch that will operate the lights that are all on the ceiling. Across on the other side, we do have these dark wood doors here, which are the closet doors. And there is like a little hanging peg on the outside and a little placard that lets us know that's where our life jackets are located. So the doors just swing open, which is nice. You don't have to worry about getting pinched. A lot of cruise cabin closet doors are known for that. You do have hooks on the inside of both doors. And then we have a storage space over here with several cubby cabinet slots on the right hand side. In the middle we have a pull down bar and shelf. So if you need additional hanging space you can put that down just like that. We have our regular hangers up top here with these little hooks to keep them in place. Life jackets are stored up above. And then over on the left side, we do have two ladders. We will get to those in just a little bit where you will use them. Opposite of the closet doors, we will find the door to the bathroom as well as the light switch for the bathroom. You'll want to hit that before you go in and out when you come out, mainly before you go in. I do like that it's on this side. A lot of the times you'll see it on the other side of the door. So you have to kind of reach back around or come back out on this one. They put it on the proper side. So on the back of the bathroom door, we will find a couple of hanging pegs which is nice. And then we'll come in and again, it's not gonna be the biggest, but it gets the job done. Our toilet on the left side, we do have our sink on the right side, vanity with the glasses mounted up on the side there, soap mounted up into the mirror, toilet paper hung up over there as well as tissue paper, a couple of trash cans and extra storage down below. Up top, there is actually not a slot for an electric razor plug, which there usually is, but not gonna have that in here. Over on this side, we will have our hand towel rack as well as another towel rack and our additional towel storage for the shower up on that shelf there. And speaking of the shower, you do have this little kind of plexiglass section, but then the rest is just a shower curtain. So no door, nothing like that. You do have a little bit of a step up and over to get in to make the shower basin. You'll notice though, it's very clean in here. Even though it's kind of an older, smaller ship, they keep it very clean and uh, very well maintained. Here you'll have your shower uh, instrument cluster kind of thing, <laughs> your, your handles to control the temperature and the uh, pressure, a handle as well for safety. And then the shower head does adjust up and down the post and the wand is removable or the head is removable there. And they do have mounted up a conditioning shampoo and a shower gel body wash as well as the uh, three corner shelves there you can store things on light and fan up above and you see the clothesline here it does retract so you just pull it out of the hook over there and it'll self-retract or pull it across and put it in if you need to use it aha my past experience on cruise ships is servicing me well here i uh thought this might open up and sure enough it does Oop, just like that and there is the slot for the electric razor as well as some additional storage shelves inside all right, outside the bathroom now, back in the main part of the cabin, we will turn and find our kind of like entertainment and storage area. 
We do have our television is going to be the main thing here. Not very big, but you have it nonetheless. And it is on a full movable mount here. So you can swing it out. You can turn it this way, that way, push it back in. And uh, easy access to plugs as well as the ports on the back of the TV. In case you want to use some kind of streaming device, you would be able to do that. There's also a storage shelf up above. I did want to point out there's a vent right there, which is for the mini fridge. So don't put anything up there that might be flammable because there is a little bit of heat coming out. You'll probably be okay, but just safe than sorry. Here's a look inside the mini fridge area. Ooh, it was quite cold actually. They have the bottles of water though that do come at an additional cost if you want to pay for those. We usually take them out to have more storage space. Now down below we have a shelf there with our drinking glasses, additional drinking glasses, as well as a US and a European plug. Light switch there is for the light that is illuminating this cabinet area. Do have two shelves there as well as two drawers that are the same size. None of the drawers in this room are soft closed. In fact, they can be quite loud when you push them. So just be mindful of that. On the other side, we do have a full length mirror right there on the corner of the bathroom wall. You'll also notice kind of the Hawaiian beachy style artwork with the surfboards all around the room. Now over on this side, we're gonna have this little cabinet here which just has our safe. It's a very tiny safe. You're not gonna fit much into it, but it's there nonetheless as well as a storage cubby up top. Down below, we'll find our mounted hair dryer, the room service mini bar menu, some different things about information and restaurant menus you can pull up, Wi-Fi, stuff like that. And then you have two American plugs there and the light switch for the vanity area. Phone for the stateroom is mounted up, which is great, keep it out of the way, not in anyone's storage space or shelf space. Down below we have our little ottoman slash stool to use here at the desk vanity area. And then we have some drawers here on the other side, very similar to the ones we saw on the opposite side of the room. Now we get to the bed space. As you can see, we currently have it set up to have the beds split apart into two twins. However, those nightstands in the middle can come out. They can push the two beds together into one bed and then put a nightstand on either side. So it's your choice if you want the one big bed, which is about a queen, and then, or you can split it and do the two twins. Speaking of those nightstands, each one is the same. There's gonna have two little cubby slots, one on top of the other. You do have these little come light bricks on either side of the bed or for each bed side depending on how you have it set up there's just a little switch there nice little feature though hidden on the back they do have usb ports right there on on the uh light brick so you can charge your mobile device or whatever have whatever you have with you and of course because the beds do move you do have under bed storage space so you can slide your suitcases under there if you would like to do so for this particular room this is like the family inside room they do have the bunk beds up top on either side some rooms only have it on one and only sleep three ours has it on either side so it can sleep four let me show you how that works now it's important to note that the stateroom attendant will take care of putting these down and up for you but just for the sake of the video i will show you how it works you just pull down like that and it locks right into place it's fully supported it can support up to 330 pounds there on the bed and it does have the little railing that flips up there and uh, locks into place so you won't roll off the side and that, that is on both sides you can just flip them down and then you'll have the uh the bunks up top there and that is what those uh, ladders are for in the closet is to get up onto either side of the bunk beds both side too will also have this little night light that you can flip on up there if you want to read or just have some light to look at something you'll have that option well there you have it friends that is our tour of our stateroom on the pride of america we are loving it so far we love hawaii for sure again be sure to check out the rest of our playlist where you can see all the fun we got into here in hawaii if you're interested in coming to hawaii or a cruise to some other destination we are travel agents and our services are completely free to you we never charge any fees or cost whatsoever you will not pay a single cent more to book with us than you would direct on your own. So please feel free to reach out via the travel agent information that you can find in the description of this video. If you've recently booked your cruise, you may be able to transfer it to our agency. That is also free of charge. Then we can assist you the rest of the way. So either way, we hope we will hear from you soon. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video, but we're signing off. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!